almost two years in Hollywood. And honestly, I was ready to stay longer. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Taylor Ray, and today I am talking about the pros and cons of living in Hollywood, California. So this might seem a little random, especially if you're a subscriber and you know that I live in Seattle currently. However, this is a video that I wanted to film. I should have done it in quarantine and I didn't. So here we are. This is also a subscriber suggestion. So shout out to Esther C. And since I did live in multiple neighborhoods, I thought that's a a great idea. Thank you again Esther for the suggestion. This felt like the right time. I just did a video about life in Seattle versus life in LA and because of that I thought you know what why don't we go back to the archives a little bit. So Hollywood was the first neighborhood I lived in in Los Angeles. It was where I had my first apartment and it will always feel so nostalgic. I ended up living there a total of one year and nine months, which is the longest place in LA that I lived like at once, almost two years in Hollywood. And honestly, I was ready to stay longer. So I'm excited to like dive in and tell you how that journey sort of unfolded but for starters, I lived in a small complex. It was two floors, about 10 units, newly renovated building. It was it felt very modern and cool, which was all a 21 year old back then could have asked for. I did have one roommate and we paid just under $2,400 a month for a two bedroom, two bathroom, two tandem space parking, which was right in front of the building. We ended up finding it on Westside Rentals. There there are membership options if you pay I promise you it would I mean at least for us it was definitely worth the money because the additional options that they give you when you upgrade from the free is like actually worthwhile and that is how we ended up finding this apartment okay guys let's get into the pros as always this is just my experience. At the end of the day, you gotta do you and you gotta live and learn for yourself just like I did. So with that being said, these are the pros that I found living in Hollywood. So for starters, Hollywood is very central. It is literally considered central LA. So you're central to North Hollywood, West Hollywood, downtown, probably other places that I'm not naming. Very central and the area that I lived in was right off the freeway. So just more of a reason that made it so central was being able to easily get around with the freeway being right there. LA being central actually leads me to my next pro, which is that it was a really easy neighborhood to Airbnb host in. And that's because the neighborhood is a tourist trap and that's one of those places that people from around the world really wanna see. And because the apartment was walking distance to the boulevard, I ended up getting a lot of requests, which was unexpected. It's the only neighborhood I ever hosted in. It was easy, if you will, to get away with it because it was such a small building and it was more than likely some of the ways that I was actually able to pay my rent. And my third pro is that it is a walkable city. If you watch my pros and cons videos, this is going to be something that I talk about again and again. For me, somebody that does not have a car, that loves city life, walkability is everything. So not only is this a central neighborhood, but you have two train stops there. Hollywood and Vine and Hollywood and Highland. Not only that, you're surrounded by bus stops. During my time in Hollywood, I actually ended up getting rid of my car for a lot of reasons, but I don't think I would have been comfortable doing that until I lived in Hollywood. And then I realized, okay, I think I could actually potentially go without my car at this point. I also was driving a company vehicle, which is actually gonna come up during my cons. So I'm prefacing it now, I had a company vehicle. So I chose to eliminate one of the vehicles all together, which was obviously my personal vehicle. So if you're out there, just as a side note, wondering if you should go without a car, I don't recommend it. The city is just too spread out and the public transportation is not great. That's my, my two cents on having a car in LA. As I like to say, with every pro, there is a con. These are a few of the cons to living in Hollywood. Con number one, it is still heavily touristy. It actually reminds me a lot of Times Square. I went to like the LA Fitness for a while and there was one on the boulevard. You know, it was like things like that where I'm just trying to get to the gym or I'm commuting on one of the trains 
and you're just hit with it. Street performers, people passing out flyers for tour buses, people taking photos. I mean, especially Hollywood and Highland, which when you live in it, you can't always avoid it, is what I'm trying to say. If you're really thinking about like, what does a year look like in a neighborhood? For me, like I wasn't really expecting that. It wasn't something that I really thought about until I was there and I was around it a lot more than I would have liked. So that is my first con for living in Hollywood. Second con, it's just kind of a dirty neighborhood. This may not matter to a lot of you out there. The reason I'm emphasizing it is because my Hollywood apartment had cockroaches, which was a first and a very frustrating experience that is not even worth the story time. But yeah, it's something that we had to deal with and unfortunately the whole building was infested because of some sort of like water leak at the base of it. So yeah, it was just a lot and they were starting to come into the rooms and it was just like not comfortable and obviously changed the way that I viewed the neighborhood as a whole so that's why I'm gonna emphasize the fact that it it feels dirty and there are neighborhoods in LA that feel very clean so it's certainly not just a dirty city there are parts of it that are very clean and nice and pleasant Hollywood unfortunately at least my experience there was not that I feel like I saved the best con for last, which is the fact that Hollywood is just simply not safe. And that's a big reason I wanted to preface all of this by saying these are just my experiences. So I do not think it's safe because my company vehicle was stolen from my apartment. And thank goodness I was not harmed in the process. The vehicle was torn apart and it, it was salvageable, but it was a really intense week. I felt really violated. I didn't feel safe there anymore. And it was sad because right before all of that, my roommate had, had moved out and I was so down to stay. I was actively looking for a new roommate to fill the room because I was pretty happy with the neighborhood. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It's hard when things happen, like cockroaches happen and then the vehicle gets stolen. It was too much weighing on me to where I was like, I just can't do this anymore. But I'll never forget it. My friend Jack She's been in a couple videos before. She was in my downtown neighborhood one. And she was living in West Hollywood at the time and she was like, you need to get out. You need to, basically you need to live in an apartment community. And I was like, there's no way I can afford something like that. She took me to several buildings in Hollywood and I toured them thinking I'd live in more of like the central like heart of Hollywood. And rent was just like, it was just too much. Like honestly, like 21 years old, I had a great job, but you know, after tax, it wasn't like amazing and I got really good at reading Yelp reviews and I was like, you know what? People are still, even at these like nicer community buildings in Hollywood, complaining about break-ins and I just can't do it. So eventually I moved to downtown and I do have a pros and cons of living in downtown video. People might be thinking like, oh, how would downtown be any safer? And I think it was just the fact that I was able to find a building in my price range that was secure. Hollywood, for whatever reason, because my building there was like pretty reasonable reasonably priced, I thought I'd actually be able to find something no problem. And when it came to those bigger buildings, I learned very quickly that it wasn't the case. As I mentioned earlier in this video, there was definitely a time that I thought I was gonna stay in Hollywood. I was trying to find a new roommate. And then I was looking at other buildings in Hollywood thinking, oh, it was just that area. It was just that building. Trying to find a way to make it work, I guess. But downtown was actually a place that I had always wanted to go. And when I had a roommate, she was never interested in that neighborhood. So downtown felt right. And I leaned into that and it ended up being the best thing for me. So I'm grateful for the way things developed developed, I guess. Hard lessons learned, for sure. Definitely made my skin thicker, for sure. And I think that's kind of the beauty of a really tough town like LA, is that no matter how much time you guys spend there, whether you do it for a year or you do it for six years like I did, you are gonna come out of it a different person. And I don't know why I'm getting emotional, but I definitely did. I learned so much and I learned so much about myself. And I think it's just hard to reflect on like the hard parts of feeling young and vulnerable and naive. 
And funny enough, that was not a year that I was unhappy there. That was not a part of my experience that made me not want to be there anymore. I I kept going and I think that's a really cool thing. And I don't know who's out there watching this. You never really do, but just keep going. It's easier said than done, but if you need a reminder, maybe this is the reminder that you need, like keep going. I know it's hard. I lived it, but I would say don't give up. Don't give up on whatever it is that you're trying to do right now. A lot of people move to LA to pursue their dreams. I was not one of those people. I'm moved there for the weather so it's a little different my experience but I guess yeah those are part of the experiences that made my skin so thick and it was so worth it so wherever you are at in your life not to get corny just keep going because it's gonna pay off one day and when I look at my life now I feel very grateful for where I'm at and just really content with how how my journey is going and I hope that you feel that too whoever you are Tears aside, stay tuned for another LA neighborhood. And I have a little more LA content on the way, but in the meantime, I do have a playlist dedicated to my LA content, a variety of vlogs and sit downs that all started when I actually lived there. So if you would like to check that out, that is linked down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.